Hi everyone, I hope you're well. It's Mr. Neil Wright, today, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning into my latest video. I've received a couple of messages, thank you um, for those who are concerned. Everything's okay, I've just been really, really busy, hence why I've not been uploading as many videos um, as I'm sure you would like and I would like, but it's, it's a good place to be in when you're really busy, um, so it's just not in hours in the day. Um, I have got some really great videos to upload. Um, in due course when I do get the time. If you do follow me on Facebook or Instagram, it's probably, or well, if you're not, it's worthwhile probably you are because with YouTube, um, I prefer narrating over the videos and you know, you create the thumbnails. It's a bit more work involved. With Facebook and Instagram, sometimes I just upload videos off the cuff, very short videos, also on YouTube, because I don't think there's the appetite. I think um, it's, if I do upload some of these short videos, many people won't like it on YouTube. Um, so I kind of generally more upload them on Instagram. Um, so with YouTube, I like generally upload a minimum three minute video uh, where, where possible. So do follow me on Instagram or um, Facebook uh, and you probably will see a more regular updating of videos, but shorter ones. Anyway, back to this video. So it's a patient who attended with uh, a very severe ear infection in the left ear. It's been chronic, it's been ongoing for the last few months. I've been prescribed all sorts of things over the last few, few, few months. Um, to no avail. They're currently on antibiotics. You can see that, well, you can't really see it at the moment because the ear canal is so inflamed. And at the entrance of the ear canal, you probably did see before, there was a, uh, the entrance was, uh, there was a crusted layer of dead skin wax um, at the entrance. I'll just remove that. Now, when you've got a very narrow uh, infected ear canal uh, with very crusty, dry debris and wax and loads of hairs, you do get a reflection. So you may have seen at the beginning of the video, I did turn down the, the brightness a bit. But um, you can turn it down all you want. You are going to get some of this brightness. But as we go into the ear further in, you'll because it's just because everything's swollen and it's near the camera, and you just get reflection. It's, it's unavoidable. So the ear canal, on average, an average ear, uninfected ear, should be. It, it varies along the, the length of the ear canal. But if we're doing average ears, probably 0.7 to 0.99 millimeters in height. In terms of width, probably 0.5 to 7 in width. So it's an oval, elongated shape. Now, if you're looking in this ear, uh, I'm actually using a fine end gauge, which is a, a size 18, I think it's about 1.2 millimeters or 1.4. There's that, that, I can just barely insert this fine end gauge. So a standard zonal suction probe would not fit in this ear, which is about two millimeters. So we, kind of, we, we can uh, ascertain from that that the, the swelling is so severe that the patient's ear canal is less than, um, probably around two to three millimeters in, in width and this is where again an endoscope is a fantastic piece of kit uh, because as long as we with the endoscope we can actually stretch the ear open a bit but we can still do procedures in very very complex ears and I've cleared all the debris out now very deep just on the eardrum there um, you still got some impacted wax and it's very very deep you can see um, you can see the swelling of the ear canal actually but with a fine end, I'm able to actually still remove this wax. There's hardly any space for me, for me to manoeuvre. And by removing all this debris and wax, it just allows the patient's medication to have greater effect now. Uh, when you've got debris like this, uh, so although the ear is infected, uh, her eardrum was actually quite healthy. You'll see that in a moment. It's a bit difficult to see because when we get to the eardrum, it's very fogged up because of the humidity in there. But she could actually hear, as you can see, it keeps coming out, but you just wouldn't anticipate this much debris to be deep in the ear and in this infected ear, but the patient at least can hear, and her ortalgia earache was completely alleviated post-procedure, so now it's just the case of this medication taking effect, reducing the swelling, but um, yeah, she was over the moon, she could hear again. There's the eardrum, now it is because it's just so hot and humidity in there because it's in enclosed space, but just about, I think I'm going to go back in again, you'll have a slightly better view. And you can see the entrance of the ear is full of hairs, you just have to guide through there. And it's a bit misty and with the heat of the endoscope it will dissipate. And you can see the eardrum just becoming apparent there now, you can see it's fully in view, you can see the handle of malleus. It's slightly dull, uh, but yeah, who would have thought we'd be able to see that at the beginning of the procedure. Uh, even I was uh, very impressed that we were able to clear that and no doubt the patient was. Um, so stay, stay tuned guys, I hope you're well in the UK at the moment, we've got a bit of a heat wave so it is quite hot. Um, I've also twisted back of my neck so I've just not been 100% my end but I'm on the mend now so I will upload some more videos if time prevails uh, and yeah so stay tuned and keep well. Bye.